very big headache but I get that way when I don't drink as much water as I usually do. Saying that I did have a glass of um what do you call it? I did have a glass of um oh drink um tea. I think someone something rummaged through here, but I'm not sure. I can seem to smell a dead carcass or something. I would be wanting <laughs> those poor little birds. I feel sorry for the birds. We definitely got like weird visitors. I always speculate probably wallabies, but it could be rabbits, it could be anything really. I've seen a couple of weird mice, uh, hopping mice creatures. I don't know if they dig for roots, but whatever it is, it likes to dig. It's safe to assume that it's probably kangaroos, because we have always got wallabies coming in and off the property. But you just don't know when you're just looking at things. We got so many holes last night. And today I was like, oh, it's too many holes. That's okay. Doesn't matter. <laughs> so I bought a blueberry plant today, but I think it's the kind of plant that needs to be in shade. Like it needs sun, but it needs to be in the cool too. Um, so I don't know. But I feel kind of ill. I've, been, I've just eaten, eat, and eat all day. I had an ice cream. I had a caramel sauced. What do you call it? Scone. A scone with caramel sauce. I had chips. I had lollies. Well, that sort of amounts to a lot of calories. <laughs> and then I'm like, oh, no, it feels so well. But I've got a headache. I just finished writing, so um, I did a little bit of work today. I need to work on my other work, the two. Uh, <laughs> because, um, yeah, because I just haven't worked in the last week on it, and it's like it pretty much needs a little bit of attention there. Um, When I got this message today, some company tries to contact me, um, and I'm like, I couldn't find their details like through my applications because I applied for a lot of jobs. I do, I'm not trying to be difficult, but I couldn't find the application. But I sent them, and I was like, oh, did I actually apply with them? Maybe it's something I applied on Seek. I mean, um, indeed. And anyway, I couldn't find the application, and so I'm like, I have no idea what it's for. But they invited me for an interview, and I can't, I can't just like go work in a call center in the city. So it's like, no, I can't do that. So you have to be remote. I wish I could do that. Um, but. I just sent a couple questions just to clarify because I couldn't find my application. I'm like, pretty weak application already. Um, <laughs> but, um, mm. by asking questions initially, it's, you're weakening your application, but it's just to clarify because I can't find why I would have applied for a call center job. Because <laughs> um, I can't just move. Obviously, and not even by Monday, so. My face is so sore today. Just pained. 
it just pained a lot and I'm like, oh, what's wrong with my face? Oh, I might need a bath. That would be luxury. I spent all week spending my gift cards and uh and so I just feel like I wasted my money. I bought something that I don't personally need, but I thought the person who gardens could use it. Um they uh they um like to grow things and so I got them um a soil measure. Um, so that they can tell, obviously you know when your soil is dry, but so that they can tell like the acidity and the dryness or the wetness. So you have this little measure you just shove into the ground and it sort of tells you things about your soil. And then I was like, that was a stupid idea to spend 12 or 13 dollars on. Um, but it was just a gift card, and I was like, oh, I should buy them that because they don't know what's going on with their plants. They plant their plants, and the plants need sometimes certain soil types, and and uh, I was like, um, you know, may as well get, get them there so that they can know, you know, what's going on with their soils and their plants and when they have delicate condition plants they can be like oh I wonder what's wrong with my plant let's check the soil is it dry is it wet does it have an acidic balance um so it measures all three and I thought it'd be useful but then I realized oh, that's 13 dollars of my gift certificate but I'm buying some more blueberries for them too. They probably won't admire them because they're not from the nursery, but if they want to plant other blueberries, they can. Uh, I'm just toying with the idea of seeing, um, of pretty much seeing if I can grow blueberries any better than they can. <laughs> so it's a, it's a challenge, okay? So I bought two packets today. One of them's, one of them's a rabbit's eye berry, and I'm not even sure if that's edible or on, ornamental. Either way, it's it should be edible. But I keep thinking a rabbit's eye is like a some sort of weird berry which was genetically modified to be in existence in the first place, um, to have berries. Or blueberries grow in anything but cold weather so that's my hypothesis my, my hypothesis of a rabbit's eye berry <laughs> I'm like I don't know if that's right apparently they grew up to eight feet I didn't check their height um, before I bought them but um what I said yeah rabbit's eye <laughs> Um, they shouldn't be toxic. I mean, most blueberries aren't toxic, but I thought the way the ad's worded, it just sounds like it might be a decorative blueberry rather than edible. But then when you read, is a rabbit's eye berries edible? And it says, yes, it's sweet and delicious. Uh, more delicious than your <laughs> everyday blueberry. And then you're like going, well, it should be okay. <laughs> But I don't know. I mean, things off eBay. A lot of things are like genetically modified off there. Um, so I only buy things that, you know. I mean, the ad says it's organic um, and that it hasn't been genetically modified. But I'm like, oh, is it really? <laughs> you just don't know. And that's why I'm sort of most concerned about spending money on eBay because I don't, you just don't know whether it's authentic. Um, uh, like you know packeted seeds and seeds you get from nurseries so um so i'm like <laughs> yeah anyway well that's what i was doing this morning um i shouldn't be buying anything much after i buy the rest of these berries this afternoon there were a couple of things that I wanted. I wanted vitamin C. I can buy that from the store, I guess, or I might buy it online later. 
I'm not in desperate need for vitamin C because we have lots of fruit. But, which reminds me, I, sh I, I should eat some more fruit. We've got lots of fruit there. Well, I don't know. No idea. I still think over here could be a couple little gardens, you know? It'd be nice to have a couple garden beds. Like, this could have a little pond. Animals can come and visit. Because this is nice and bushy. Even though it's a cut down tree that's regrowing. It's nice and bushy and this would be like perfect to have like a little pond here. Um, you know, you could do like a little landscaped area here and then the same thing over here. You could landscape it and be like a little garden. At least here could be a garden. But no one could be bothered touching it so it's just growing. Whatever is here is just growing. It's a nice spot. It would be nice for um, a blueberry tree because it seems moist. It's on the bottom of the hill. It's where all the water runs. But we haven't had any extreme weather. We just had a couple of storms and then most of it's just lovely sun. Like that up there. Where is the sun? That. And so most of it's just been lovely sun and so we haven't had any volcanic eruptions, hadn't had any tornadoes, cyclones, anything, and it's like pretty peaceful. <laughs> but um yeah. Every time I feel like there's aggravated energy in the house, I'm like thinking maybe I should leave. <laughs> Um, usually there's a more violent burst of aggression when someone wants me to leave, but I'm very slow to do it because I don't, I virtually don't earn money most of the time, so. <laughs> um. Anyway, instead of texting, I should have actually called this person who called me. But I, I, I just didn't think of it. I was like, mm. um, I should I should call them when I get back inside. Actually, I'm not going to be letting the chickens out until the dog is inside. So. So I don't know when these are planted, but I think they were planted in the summer and they don't like sun. They're like cold and they, they need to be in a damp, dewy area. Um, I mean, they love the sun, but they don't like hot weather. <laughs> so underneath the house where it's a bit cool would be good and amongst heaps of trees. That bit at the front seems like a good area. Look at this. What made this? Got all these soils all over, all these holes all over the place. Something loves to rummage for bugs and creatures and stuff. These trees seem to look like they're not growing very strongly. You could just cut them down. I don't know where that is. And there's possibly too many my, um, ants underneath the soil. There are so many ants underneath these soils. But 
I've done most of what I was going to do today, but I'm going to write a little bit more tonight because doing five pages just took it all out of me. I think my problem is I had to think about it a little, what I was going to content. And then I was like, oh, my brain's toasted after five pages. And so writing extra five before I went to bed last night was helpful. And now it's like if I write five more, it's like tomorrow would be the same thing. I'm starting to slow down because whenever things get complex is when I realize oh, it's getting harder to write. So you're using your brain and get more lethargic. But I've also eaten a lot of junk food, so if you go for a take two around the garden. I gave a packet of daffodils to the other person, I think a year ago or so, or a year and a half ago, and they had no success when we moved here. We tried to plant it and they had no success, so I think they just planted it in the wrong season, because it wasn't March when we got here, so they planted it must have been July or August. And they were like, oh, they didn't come up. So then I bought these ones this year. And I planted them at the right time. And they've grown so well. So I don't think I've tried myself to try and grow daffodils in a while. But these ones are very, very nice. And they've grown so well. I wish I had, you know, put all of them in the soil because I've got... I've got probably, you know, close to 10 bolts still. <coughs> and I have to wait till next March to plant the rest of them. Um, my, my thing is, is I'm only using some of the seeds um, at a time. But the risk is, you know, they'll get stale and not grow if you leave them in a packet for a year. But, um... These look beautiful. Like first attempt and just happened to grow it right. <laughs> so I'm like, yay, but I wish I'd grown more. These are like cracker jack marigolds. They've grown quite well. Um, it's not the first time I've ever tried to grow them. It's the first time in a long time that I've tried to grow them. And they're cute. They're a cute flower that sm smell very sweet. They remind me of a carnation for some reason, so it's like a carnation meets marigold, and then we have these couple of varied colors and tones. These, is, these are huge, but they're daisies, you know, so they're going to take a while to flower. I'm guessing they'll probably have flowers in the summer, but I don't know. But they're sort of growing quite well. These, these are really pretty flower when they get flowers. They'll be like so pretty. Um, they're purple flower and they grew so this is just like a couple of seeds growing so they grew very big and very if I had planted a whole line of them they'd be like so spread out but I didn't <laughs> they're just in the one spot and they're growing filling it out really well this plant hasn't actually grown a flower ever since I bought it um it had flowers on it when I bought it but ever since you know those flowers were chopped off. They haven't grown any more flowers, so they're just a weird spiky plant that may or may not flower sometime. And these were, is where I'm growing my roses. They haven't come up. These are roses. I think I planted some rose seeds in there too. And that is... That, that should be a... Um, what do you call it? Oh yeah, a bonsai, a bonsai wisteria or something, something colourful. I was um, noticing the other person in the house was breaking their mood when before they left they needed some air to get rid of this tainted feeling that they have because they're frustrated about things, nothing goes perfectly. If you ask me, they're just a little, they act a little too slow. <laughs> With technology especially, everything confuses them and they take things very seriously, it seems. And then it's like they can't figure things out and then they give up. So they don't have anyone to mentor them and then they're like, I'm sick of everything. But um, I too feel like a brush of, I don't know, I don't know if it's a aggravation or whether it's, I don't feel like doing anything. You know, I've got a brush of 
that kind of response um, where I also feel like life isn't perfect and um, I don't have a job and nothing's getting many better <laughs> and, uh, and so I'm sort of also like trying to give up on things it's like I don't feel like doing anything okay I'm sick of these jobs where I earn you know 30 bucks a week you know I'm missing out on the jobs that earn two thousand dollars a week and I'm like stuck in crap land so for me I'm doing the same thing but a little less temperamentally I'm like I don't feel like doing any of this uh, not, not in that train it's like I don't feel like doing anything I'm just gonna do nothing or I don't want to do anything or if I do anything it's an effort because I literally don't want to do anything so <laughs> um, I don't feel like doing this and I don't feel like doing that okay um, so I'm sort of similar in a way it's like I don't feel like I just feel like walking around in a circle right now <laughs> I don't feel like going indoors and you know doing something more standard so I'm abandoning all the responsibilities even though I fulfilled two of them but there's something that I should have done that I didn't and because I don't feel like it this is what's left of the gutted trampoline we've used all the nettings and the mat for practical purposes now we've just got these old rusty springs and the frame these are just all logs. We don't plan to do anything much with these logs. But look at this. Oh, how, how decorative is this? If you could just sand everything. Turn that into a sculpture. That would be pretty cool. It'd be so hard though. It's like so... But you could turn it into like a, some sort of sculpture and be like... It's pretty cool. It's like a shark fin. <laughs> Got a little fin there. Fin here. And pointed nose. Or just an awkward looking seat. Something to place a plan on. Something decorative. We do have a native lizard that hides in high up in these trees. It uh, comes down sometimes, and you can find it on the ground in summer trying to keep pulled by a rock. It usually goes up on the post over there. Um, but I haven't seen it so far this winter, so I only saw it a couple of times in the summer. And it's really cute. But I must say that the weather is pretty perfect. It, um, it's like summer. And there's very low wind. And... You know, you could generally sunbake. <laughs> um, and, uh, yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty perfect weather. I mean, it doesn't feel cold. Um, at night it feels a bit cold, but during the day it's, like, pretty perfect. Lots of sun. Lots of warmth. I didn't get to wear my scooby today, but you generally don't need it because it's so warm. And, like I said, it feels pretty perfect. It feels like beach weather. I can't wait for the summer, though. Because I presume because it's so warm. I mean, this is like the crux of winter. And because it's so warm, I would expect hum summer to be like, you'll feel desperate to get in some water. <laughs> um, I expect it to be a really hot summer because the winter is barely breaking it into the cold sphere it's it's like it's like spring already it's like summer's going to be tomorrow and it's in the middle of winter so you're like going it's pretty darn warm and lovely but that's abnormal and so you can see if the temperatures don't drop it's probably going to be a really really stinking hot summer and You'll probably be thinking, now it's just a little too hot. <laughs> uh, I won't be able to wear my new pants I just bought, but... No, but it is, seriously, it's really hot. Really hot for winter. It's not winter weather. 
And then you guys like El Nona and El Nina, whatever it is, El Nino. There's all these complex weather patterns stating it's like not going to be wet this summer. It's going to be dry as, so with a blistering hot, a, a really warm winter, you can see that during the summer where it should be, you know, it probably will lead to droughts because we didn't get enough rain. It's been pretty warm, so the ground's going to be pretty dry. Bushfires are likely to break out. And probably in certain areas, there'll be drought. <laughs> Reason why you have more than one tank on your property. We have three and it's not enough. Not by a long shot. I need six. <laughs> I need at least two more. Plus another one. <laughs> I need a heap of them. For separate paddocks just to be able to give the ground some moisture. So you can tell that the development of hot weather is probably just going to spurn the world into a big dramatic summer. <laughs> and it's going to be all this fault, all the sun's fault. But here we did get some rain. Literally you were looking at one shower per month. Um, some, some months are like a couple of days of showers and some are a couple of weeks, but literally not that much rain. Um, this month, the three days that we get of showering is probably going to last, you know, into the next month and then it'll probably shower by the end of the next month or mid the month after. I don't know. I don't remember what they said, but you just go to online websites and they give you month by month expected showers and it's not really going to be that much you know so you can certainly ascertain hot weather equals hot problems um, and droughts yeah probably will be drought but not necessarily here because here's like oh it's hot but it's it's doable when it rains, the grass quickly recovers, turns bright green. Doesn't feel like it's going to be like end up in sand and dust. <laughs> Not with three water tanks. It could mean, however, that we will have to go more sparse. Lots of people order water when their tanks run dry, and then it's like, it's like more. I just feel like I'm paying for a lot of. A lot of um, excess access. So I gave up paying bills. I'm just paying 50 bucks a week. And I'm like, sorry, but that's running my bank dry. <laughs> it's the best I can do. If I, don't, if I don't pay something every week, I won't pay anything. Because, you know, I have my own, my own issues with money. And it's like, you know, I can't pay more. I generally cannot pay more. I should take something more seriously so that I can earn more money, but I haven't so far, but it's all set up there. If I want to, it will be nice. I literally need to develop a, a script and one to two hours worth of talking, which I can do. I mean, I've done 30 minutes now. And then that should help me do things. But basically, without earning that much income, it's like I'm just giving, like, basically I'm giving half of my Centrelink allowance to bills. And like I said, you know, I have to pay a little bit every week. And it's like, I can reduce the amount, but it's like, that's the only way I'm going to pay things. And so that's, I'm just paying that now. I'm not even paying, um, I'm virtually just paying that now. And then it's like. That's like $200 a month rent. But, you know, I'd rather just do that and prep up the accounts and pay full bills. Like, because the bills rise up $100 here, 
I'm doing fifty dollars there. Oh wait, we just got something, you know, council rates five hundred dollars and oh we just got water so it's like one eighty. <laughs> Like 180 on top of that, and so it's like instead of you know paying all these separate little bills in excess, I'm just like I'm just pulsing up the $50 a week and hope that's enough. I just have to say, I can't pay $500, I can't pay you know $200 here just because I'm generally living rent free doesn't mean I can pay for things because I can't pay it because I don't have a job. So you just have to con- contemplate to yourself and be like, well, that'll just have to do. That's all I'm doing. I'm not doing any more than that. <laughs> it is so warm. I should check if I should take um, the little birds out for a walk. They're fun. I still don't feel like sitting inside. I'm sort of just walking off the excess energy that I spent on eating a heap of junk food. <laughs> like, I, just, I just don't feel like sitting indoors right now. I think it's just because I just exhumed my mental state when I was, you know, fooling around on the computer. So and then I'm going to go inside and then look at my phone and be like, this is all I'm doing this evening. But I would repeat that it seems like perfect weather now. But at the end of the year, however, things will probably be looking pretty crusty. And I can assume there will be something huge dramatically huge with the weather and lack of water.